Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Hey, what's going on Central New York? We had our first little blast of winter. Uh, this time last night we were talking uh, about lake effect snow. The good news is that's done, but it left its mark. We'll recap uh, how much snow fell. We still have a, an opportunity through uh, the overnight for a few uh, passing snow flurries of very little consequence though. Temperature right now at the top of the hour is uh, 28. So it's cold, but the wind direction is uh, the key to the forecast here uh, with a south wind now. So uh, that south wind will continue through the overnight, which will bring in uh, some warmer air as we go into the day tomorrow. Have a look at some of these snowfall reports. So obviously the big winners, the Tug Hill High Market ended up with 42 inches. Osceola has 34 inches on the ground. Locally, Boonville over a foot, uh, a foot in Taborg and just north. Forestport had nine inches and the list goes on here. Remsen with uh, eight inches. Marcy did well at five. Hartwick down in Otsego County has five inches, four inches in Whitesboro and uh, Oneida uh, checking in with three inches. So for the time being, there's not much going on here locally, but off to the west, we do have this little area of snow flurries that we're watching. That's all this is, just a few light snow flurries. It's actually a warm front uh, that is in the process of lifting through, so that warm front is going to bring in some warmer air. But we're going to see temperatures drop pretty quick this evening, and they already are doing so. We're in the 20s at last check, Utica, Rome, and uh, Marcy, mid-20s in Herkimer County. Richfield Springs is at 23. It's 25 right now in Milford and up north. Temperatures here are in the low 20s. And if you have a fresh snowpack on the ground, that only helps temperatures uh, drop that much more. So again, we're watching uh, again a few of these little snow flurries uh, bubble up here and those will be moving on through during the evening here. If anything, temperatures will actually rise tonight and then look off to the west, clear sky. That is what you will see for the day on Thursday. So we might start out with some clouds. Uh, it will turn breezy, but it's not as cold tomorrow. Partly to mostly sunny by afternoon. Temperatures into the low and mid 40s. Then we get into Friday and I think by midday it's a chilly light rain that will be developing as this little cold front uh, starts to kind of uh, sag south. And there could be some wet snow mixing in over high elevations. The Tug Hill, the Adirondacks, a Friday afternoon. Forecast tonight, uh, a few snow flurries, little if any accumulation. Temperatures are going to drop pretty quick this evening to near 20. And then once we get towards midnight and after, will actually start to rise through the day tomorrow. A bit breezy, not as cold, a nice day and becoming partly to mostly sunny for the afternoon. A high temperature of 44. Then it's umbrellas Friday, especially in the afternoon as light rain develops. It'll become steadier. Again, some wet snow over higher elevations, 43. Showery weather Saturday. It's not all day. 44. Uh, another push of milder air Sunday, up near 50, but some showers develop in the afternoon. Into Monday, still pretty mild, 46, and then turning colder late uh, Monday. I think mainly dry Tuesday, nothing more than a spotty rain or snow shower, and then colder by Wednesday, a few scattered snow showers or flurries. Uh, temperatures uh, in the low and mid 30s by then. All right, Craig, hopefully the warmer weather Seems kind of funny to say warmer, but in the comparison to yeah. other days, hopefully that doesn't make the rain freeze. It's all that. relative, yeah, right? We'll right? watch it at night. You know, it's always this time of night, uh, this time of year at night, it could mm -hmm. be uh, a little tricky. But for the most part, we're talking about just rain, which, like I said, we'll just kind of wash all yeah. the snow that we've had mm -hmm. uh, away. All right, Craig, thank you. When we come back, Conferences for Economic Transition and Parent Policy. Veterans gathering across the state today for support and resources. Those stories next. 